Hello again. This is episode like four million or just four of Crooked Man. And last time we left off, we were. We had found a gold key, I think, right? Yeah, right there, a gold key. And trying to figure out what the heck it's used for. Ah, gold keys. Looks like a bathroom. This needs a, like, passcode, that's right. Locked. Maybe it's a staff room. No. This is like, yeah, wire around the door, that's normal. Totally normal. I don't even remember what we were really doing. My lord. It was under this table, but I don't think there's another locked door. Oh man, nope. My nose itches. My nose, David. My nose. What are we even? Painted over, locked. Oh, no, lock. David, try using your golden key or your brass key. David, you're useless. It doesn't like doing anything. Nothing. 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 Well, then where does it go, David? You wanna leave? No. David does not wanna leave. He is like, we are not done here, woman. But, I think, the only door that opens is this, this door. Key here? Key here? What do I do? What do I do? Tell me what I do. Help me. Help me. I'm so lost. I don't even... I don't know what to do. What was that? What was the answer? What? I can't hear you. You're not helping me any at all. Good job. Good job at not helping me. I'm, now we're gonna do the- Stop! David! 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 You make me so angry! David! Listen. Thank you. Now we're just gonna run around in circles. Cause I have no idea what to do. And you guys won't tell me. Oh! There's more over here. I didn't even know that. Bar. Let's go to the bar. I guess the gold shiny key is not for the bar. That probably means the other side has a room <laughs> that we completely missed. Oh, look at that. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, room we can go into. Okay. Ah! No. Nothing in the desk drawers. There's a scrap in the note from the dresser. You're not at all worried that the mirror glass broke as soon as you looked at it? Scrap note. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with the big mirror. She would wonder what was what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought I might have to come here, but it didn't. It's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one for my room. So the former tenant did come here. wonder if he's still here. Somehow I doubt it was the former tenant. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. And at a special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? Dead! Because the crooked man killed him. Because he looked at the mirror and it broke. It broke, David. It broke because of your face. Clock has stopped. It's still completely dark out. Okay. Whatever. But the gold key goes here. And notice on the door. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library will be temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Or little children stealing our keys. Whatever. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Key. Key. 109. And a book. Book. David. Book. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't need to. You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconsciousness. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness, and they will drag you away. <laughs> Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. K to L, I to J, G to H. Nothing, David? Nothing? Are you illiterate, David? Read your books, David. Oh. What the? What's that sound? I don't hear nothing. Let's turn it up. 
execute R, O P, M N. This is his personal collection. He's got a lot of books. Lots of books. Oh, someone's running. Is someone there? Probably it's best not to hunt them down, but you know, David. David's not the brightest man who probably will hunt them down. Let's go to room 109. We like 109. Yes, that would be this room. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, there's a shiny on the dresser! Give it to me. Something on top. Well, then get it! Use a chair and. Oh! Ha! <laughs> there you go. Now get it. I got wire cutters! Oh, we can open that door now! Why were there wire cutters in there? Oh, the piano! The piano! We're stupid, so let's check it out! It'll be in this room, right? <gasps> ah, person! Who's that? Ah! It's a chick. I'm sorry, I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I am... Um, sorry, I yelled at you. I'm not on the staff of the hotel or anything. David, why do we stutter? Who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. How about you? I'm Sissy. Her name's Sissy. <laughs> ah, Sissy. Then what brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. Especially for a sissy. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. Was it your wire cutters? I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies. But I'm not leaving until I can find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here for a while longer, so I can help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Oh, everyone stutters here. Let's do me a favor, too. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. We'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Why the f Man, what am I doing trying to girls? I feel like the shady one here. You probably are. What are we doing? Like, breaking into hotels and just going into people's rooms? Like, this is shady, David. Very shady. Cut open the staff room. Cut the wire with the cutters. Okay, more books. This dude has a book fetish. What does that book say? Read that book. A notebook. OX. Door in room 107 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Diary. Yeah, that's it. Four chapters of the missing book have mysteriously gone missing. Oh, what the, why did I? Okay. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. Pocket paper, miscellaneous goods. Goods, line of journals, account books, tourist magazines, owner's room. There's no doorknob. I hear something. I don't hear shit. What are you talking about, David? Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Faint sort of voice inside. I don't. Oh, it's right. They talk in gibberish here. They're like, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. That's their talking noises. 107. It's probably this room, not the passcode room. There we go. Okay. So now we're breaking into everyone's rooms. A doorknob. Oh, yeah. That journal mentioned something about door repairs. No. I think it mentioned sink repairs, didn't it? No? Hmm. Maybe it would work on the door without a knob. It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. About no. Brody Brown. That's disgusting. Shelves are empty. Why does everyone have keys to everyone else's room? Like, that doesn't bother you at all, David? No? Okay. Just checking. Making sure. Owner's room. Go in there. We attach the doorknob. And that's it for time. Thank God nothing popped out and scared the snot out of me. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe if you want to see the next adventure in the David Hoover land of Hooverness and sissies. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.